Holy crap. Just caught this behemoth and I snagged on his line because I wasn't paying attention. Shame on me. So we're finally on the board. So let him go. Hello there. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> What time? Do you know what, what time is it? Is it? <laughs> Probably it's time to go to Pyramid Lake. What else? What else? <laughs> it is that time. But what else? What time is it? Oh, uh, it's probably like adventure time. Oh, adventure time! <laughs> yes, it's a little slow. Adventure time. We are going on a mega adventure. We are uh, a mega adventure. That didn't come out right. We're going in Reagan and Tessa's ultimate pyramid rig setup. Yeah, <laughs> pretty sweet. We're taking their. They read this. Uh, what do you call? It? I don't know. What. It's a van. Solus van. Solus van. It's a camper van. Camper van. Yeah. A good and, time van. And we rent, we rent the trailer too, <laughs> the beam trailer. This is the first time we're doing the the full rig, full rig, and with the rack brand new. So we're gonna we're testing it with Test your ladder. So that's okay. I told them I snore, so I'm gonna be stuck in that. No, I don't exactly. snore. But that's awesome. Yeah, we're excited. Got the ladders up on top. We're doing the whole pyramid thing, doing it in style. So adventure. it is adventure time. Let's hit the road. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, we have made it. Long drive, and we are not alone. <laughs> it is a zoo of people. Yeah, we can give it a whirl. You know, try to hit that little gap. There's no, nobody. Hopefully, we get there before someone else. <laughs> we have made it. Pyramids. Hopefully, we get into some big lines. Last night, where did we sleep last night? I forget. Oh, just a rest stop. We uh, slept at a rest stop. Yeah. Somewhere on I-80. Oh. I slept great. That little teardrop, that beam trailer is awesome. It's comfy, comfy. Yeah. Show them your bed. Oh, well, it's messy right now. <laughs> I gotta make it before I show <laughs> Yeah, I didn't put anything away. You gotta keep up appearances. Yeah. Everyone thinks I don't want people to think your trailer is like fancy when you get in there and it's a disaster of my stuff. So, yep, adventure time. Take the ladder down. Almost go time. Our ladder's out. We'll grab our rods and hit it. Pyramid Lake. All right, it is go time. We're finally ready to go. We go hit it. Yeah, hopefully we get into some fish. Tessa's gonna crush it. Well, she's gonna crush it on that purple leaf. So what we're starting off with, we got a, we're using two rods. We got the tw uh, 25 sonar cold sink. Oh, is that what I forget what it's called? It's a 25 foot fast sink tip. Uh, he's got a balanced bruise leech at the bottom, and up from that, he's got a booby, a white and green. And then you have your this, indicator rig set up, or no? This one's just got an indicator. Just an indicator. No fly, no fly we'll yet. Works. <laughs> On my rod, I have a peacock leech, a balanced peacock leech, and about. Four, three and a half feet, four feet up that, an orange booby. When we, we did, I did a video about four years ago from here, and orange is the color orange worked the best as far as popcorn beetle. So we're gonna try that. And then the indicator rig, indicator just a you know, red chronometer at the bottom, and a, one tied with glow bright a thread and olive wire, and like an orange hot spot. So. All right. Okay. Down there. It is go time. We're back. The ladder set up. Got the net on the one side, extra rod, food and snacks on the. It's actually just a tackle box, but then, yeah, well, let's hit it. I forgot to mention. Um, I'm using this uh, 10 foot, 8 weight Cavellas Vector. They're, they were on clearance because I don't think they're making them anymore, so they're dirt cheap. Bought it specifically for here, and I have a, a 10 foot 7 weight for the indicator setup. I had a 6 weight that broke, and they didn't have any more 6 weight, so they sent me a 7 weight. So it is go time. That guy's hooked up. He's using an indicator. Nice. So far nothing on the strip, except we're getting moss almost every cast. So I switched to the indicator for a bit. Switch it up until we find something that works. And that guy on the float tube has one, and those guys in the boat. What's that? I said both those guys just had one. 
so I just had a, a bump a minute ago and he's using an indicator and he just had his bobber go down so okay. nice so hope maybe the time of the day is changing for the better we have not caught nothing we've had two fish that's bump it that's it better than nothing huh Reagan Look at everyone else is kind of cleared out because there's, there's no action except for that guy out there on the photo who's killing it. Like literally, he's crushing it. <laughs> I'm gonna fish on. I was reeling in to like switch it up. <laughs> on the what is he on? The balanced minnow. I was literally reeling it in to switch it up to a leech. I think so. I, I got it. Yeah. First fish. Oh yeah, nice. Finally on the board, man. I was literally rolling it in just to like switch it up because I was. You know what? It's because you're just saying just eat it. Yeah. That's why. Oh, nice little. It is a summit strain. It's got the adipose. Nice. Get that out. Hey, first fish. Just on the balance middle, I was just bringing them in to like switch it up because I'm not getting anything. Uh, it's a summit strain. It's got the adipose. But it has not been fast action, but we're finally on the board. Let's let him go. Well, man, thank you. Finally, man. Uh, I had one other bump, and he had a bump, so hopefully these are going to change. We're going to get into some fish. Doing a major switch, uh, switch up. I've had these Reddington waders for these seven, seven or eight years. No waders have ever lasted me that long. Never had to fix a leak, but I got like a mega leak. I, I got wet. I had to change my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so, look. <laughs> yeah, I was dying. all around my my land down under my belly was so soaking wet so I, I got like a tear by the pocket luckily I brought my Patagonias as well so I'm gonna switch to that we're doing a mega switch if I'm gonna pump up the tube the guys on the tubes are doing a lot better than we were so I'm gonna go out there and then if I do get any I'm gonna switch it up let them get it so that one <laughs> you got it oh there you go wait I was gonna see if he needed a hand, but it looks like he got. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. He's yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, yeah that's really pretty. Pretty cool. You got that hole there. He's a summit. It is pretty big for a summit. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's almost got an adipose. Does he? Is it kind of it's hard to tell? Yeah. yeah. Well done. Oh, thank you. You want you want to help with a picture or anything or? Oh no! Oh, thank you though. Yeah. 20, oh, 24, 25 maybe. Yeah, it's good fish. Yeah. <laughs> good job. That's what we come here for. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you for coming to my help. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yep, that's awesome. Well done. I'm taking the two out because they're the only ones catching fish. So Fragan's gonna crush one right here in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Tube time. All right, we're off. Starting off with the. A sonar sink cold 25 with the minnow, the only thing we've caught anything on. So I'm just telling them what I'm starting off with on the two. Switch the, I got rid of the orange, but we can put on a black and red just because we were getting no love on it. So we figured why not switch it up. Well, you're out and about. Got that same balanced minnow and black and red booby. Yeah. Got one, who knows? Big or small? Guess I gotta go out deeper. Yeah, yeah. Now, this one'll see the distance because anyway. You like that when I get just another whack? They're even pretty big articulated flies. Kind of cooking his, kicking his butt a little bit. 
They're helping that guy out. I guess you got a good one. <laughs> He had it in the net and then it got out. <laughs> and the tiny, a huge monk, humongous white and green minnow, apparently. They're thinking you were my son over there, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you got a like that. Oh, nice. <laughs> got a guy on the balance minnows. About time, man. Ooh, a spider. Oh, shoot, got off. <laughs> oh, well, at least I finally got something. <laughs> Total of three bumps now. One that was on on that you saw. So I switched the black and red booby to just an orange popcorn beetle. So try that for a bit. Good one. Man, those guys are crushing it. He's got a good one. Are you guys using full sink lines? Yeah. Okay. Outbound short, so a full sink head and then an intermediate running. Gotcha. Picked up on this guy's line and he has a good fish, so. <laughs> Just caught this behemoth and I snagged on his line because I wasn't paying attention. Shame on me. Holy crap, I think a, that is a beast. That's my. Uh, TV. Holy crap. Ah. You just got my line. I just wrapped around your line? Yeah. Um, uh, do you want a scale? Picture? Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Do you have a scale? I, hey, Tessa! Do you have a scale? I don't. I don't know. Shoot. That's alright. You know, he. Hey, uh, Reagan! Do you have your scale? Yeah, he'll come. Yeah, he'll run down here. He's a tank, man. Yeah. But that was a big fish. Um, he hooked me up with one of these big minnows. Everything I was smaller. I'll try it. Your crew is crushing it. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, your buddy gave me one of his flies. <laughs> and I instantly had a hit on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like a big old huge minnow. I just missed one. A solid tug, but did not stick. He has a good one because he's been fighting it forever and it's kicking his trash. So I can't see the reflection of the sun, but yeah. He's had this fish on for a while. Oh, he's got one in there. Yeah, everybody's hooking up. Yeah. Oh, he did a big one jumped right past it. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, there. Oh, yeah, There's a little net for that thing. Oh, let me get out of the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my gosh. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, whoa! Hey, I think, you guys want the scale? Wow. Wow. 
Here go pilot peak. That's awesome, man. He was kicking your trash. <laughs> man, second pump I've had since I came out. Very big, but I will take whatever at this point. Hey, he's on the minnow. Yeah, on the minnow that guy gave me, it's pretty decent. Take that guy. Nice. He's missing a knife. I said, so, yeah, something got him good. Yeah. Very nice. That's only fish number two. It has not been a fast action day. I don't really take it. Come here, buddy. Dude, well, it's long. It's probably 25 inches long. It's just not, not very fat. I don't know. Let's let him go. Okay, well, well, thank you. My ladder. Reagan's out on the float tube. Tessa's doing who knows what. Just one. <laughs> See, in the low light, but Reagan has one on the float tube. It's fish. If it stays on, that'll be his first fish. <laughs> Probably on that same big huge minnow that I got mine on. I'm getting a late start, they've been out for a bit. Uh, a couple guys first thing pulling something, but a lot of people have already left the ladders because they're not was catching anything, so I don't know. I'm gonna go up back out on the tube. Who knows? I'll try it. It's cold. Let's go catch some fish, hopefully. I'm off, it's windy and cold. Try it for a minute, and if I get anything, I'll come back in and trade off. We'll get Tessa out on the tube. All right, we have moved on. Uh, no one was catching fish in there. A couple guys that were casting way the heck out there with these huge lug weights. Got a couple, but it was slow. I had one bump out on the tube. We have moved way far away. No one else is here. That might be a bad sign, but we can't do any worse than we we're doing. So I'm gonna go out on the tube. We're gonna. So, a couple ladders out here right on the edge of the or go from dark. Hope for the best. Yeah, I don't know. It has not been a fast action trip, but it's still nice being out. Let's go hit it. Off oh, it is pretty windy. So who knows how long this will be? Well, I'm gonna hit it off. Ah, oh, Reagan just missed one. Like we're just saying how the action is so much better here because we haven't hit nothing. And his indicator shot down right after we were saying. Awesome, dude. That's well. That's a good sign. I was only down maybe maybe that far. I was picking up a lot of weed. Going on into the indicator. Back on the ladder, sitting next to Reagan. Hanging stuff for the indicator. He's caught one and he had it go down another time. So, just telling him that the camera. Good. Yeah. So, just watching an indicator. Got a balance bruise leech on the bottom and about a foot and a half, a foot or so above it, a ice cream cone. Well, we have moved on yet again. Be the last spot. On the rocks. We have our waders on so Reagan over there, hanging off an indicator at the moment. Well, it is snowing. Tessa just missed one. So. First take. From pretty decent weather to fishing in a blizzard. Well, I got about an hour left that we can fish anyway, so. Hey, it's cold.
trip. I thought I actually had one. Bobber went down, but it was just caught on a rock. Bring it. So I forgot to film it in at Pyramid Lake. This is the, this is the end. It was not fast as you might be. It was pretty slow. We saw a group of guys out on boats because they were killing it. They were stripping some big streamer patterns. And then one other group of guys were getting spit here and casting out like a mile of something big. And they were all jigging at the same time. They were getting the fish, but no one else was. We saw only a handful of other people catch fish from the ladders. There was a lot of people on the ladders. We only landed a total of four fish. I caught two, you caught two. So not an epic outing for a long time. It's still fun. It's fun. Uh, they're a little set up here in the... The Winnebago is awesome. And then I stayed in the little bean trailer. Super comfortable.